face with all the super mutant villains. This time, we join our intrepid heroes with the Galactic Zone in turmoil. Rides are breaking down, the robots are malfunctioning, and a rumor has spread that a fabulous new Nuka flavor can be sampled at the vault Tech among the stars attractions. The culprit, you ask? None other than the villainous Fim Vader. How will our heroes spoil their plans this time? Find out in today's intergalactic episode of Tales from Nuka World. Uh, uh, please listen to me. There are no free samples of Nuka Cola Quantum here or anywhere else at the park. If you want to learn more about it, please make your way to the world of refreshment. And but there are flyers all over the park promising it. And now that we're here, you're telling us there isn't. We want our quantum! We want our quantum! Wait, nobody? What flyers? I know every inch of this park. Every promotion we have going on. And not one of them is about... Oh, why do I bother? Hello, Marco? Uh, yeah, we have a code quartz over here. Yes, I understand you're busy. Look, just come over here, please! Thank you. What a mess. Let's hope Marco can save the day. Meanwhile, let's check in on Emily and Paula, who are bravely responding to an incident on the Nuka rockets. All right, buddy, you're okay. Run along now. That's the last of the guests off the ride. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. That thing was going crazy. Any idea what it might have been? Not a clue. I mean, everything looks fine. Why is it good? I oiled it just last week. And there's basically no rust. So how on earth is it breaking? Ugh, what kind of engineer am I if I can't fix this simple ride? Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. What if it's not an engineering problem at all? Then what could it be? The Vim Vader? Come on, Paula, what's he gonna do? Well, think about it. If he's trying to sabotage Nuka World having rides break down, putting our guests at risk... That villain will have us looking incompetent and dangerous. I suppose. But then he clearly hasn't tampered with the ride at all. Everything is pristine. What else could he have done? Unless he... Paula, I've got it! Hey, Emily! Wait for me! Without a second thought, Emily and Paula hurry over to Starport Nuka, the control center for the whole Nuka galaxy. Starport Nuka, of course! This place is the control room for the Galactic Zone, and a prime target for our saboteur. Hmm. Aha! The Star Corps, of course! These marvels keep all the rides and robots in line. Without them, things get a little... unpredictable. So, which one controls the Nuka rockets? Emily, I think it's this one. Ugh, it's covered in soda. Covered in soda? What the... Good golly, it's been drenched in Vim! No wonder the ride has been on the fritz! Well, it needs swapping out until we can get a replacement. But what attraction could we draw power from until then? <sighs> what about vault among the stars? There can't be that many people there today, surely. It's worth a try! Oh man, come on, Marco! They're getting unruly over here! <clears throat> Attention guests, uh, due to, um, unforeseen, uh, technical issues, I'm afraid that vault Tech Among the Stars will close, uh, early today. Please exit the lobby, and, uh, we, we hope to welcome you to outer space on your next visit. Um, we apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, thank God. Ha-ha! <laughs> My mere presence is enough to scare those troublemakers off. Uh, what was that about? Uh, something about a, a fake promotional campaign? Quantum samples. Free samples? Don't make me laugh. They actually believe those fake flyers. You knew about them? Yep. My security boys have been tearing them down all day. They reek of vim. Don't worry, buddy. We'll get them cleared, and I will catch that Vim Vader once and for all. Oh, thanks, Marco. I appreciate it. And so, peace has returned to the Galactic Zone, and the Vim Vader's plans are foiled yet again. 
but the threat is far from over. Where will they strike next? How will our band of Nuka heroes save America's favorite beverage again? Tune in to the next episode of Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. And shooters for adventure and in Nuka World. The birds are shining. The sun is singing. But what's this? A suspicious character seems to be lurking in Dry Rock Gulch? Oh, the audacity. The humanity. Could this spell trouble for our fiztastic park? Hmm. It sure is a swell day today. The park is bustling. I don't know how many guests I've waved at or said hi to today. And <laughs> it's not even noon. I couldn't have asked for a better day. Shame it's so peaceful. I could use some action. Ah, right on cue. Marco here. Over. Marco, there's trouble over at Dry Rock Gulch. The sheriff's gone mad on Main Street. He started rounding up the guests and calling them outlaws. Over. Don't worry, Dr. Paula. I'm on my way. Over and out. Meanwhile, at Dry Rock Gulch... Ah, oh, let us out, you crazy machine! We haven't done anything wrong! Oh, you got a badge? Something you think you're in charge? Negative. You no good outlaws. I'm the law in these parts, and you'll be behind bars till I decide what to do to you. Oh, come on! We're gonna be late to line up for the rides! Quiet down in there. Oh, oh, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I would not do that if I were you. Have no fear. Your friendly neighborhood security guard is here. Let these guests go. I'm the sheriff here, partner. And this town ain't big enough for the two of us. These outlaws are mine to deal with. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Marco lures Sheriff Hawk outside and manages to shut him down with his emergency shut-off switch. Hey, Doc. I took care of that little mechanical malfunction. How's everything over here? The guests are okay. A little dehydrated with some bruises from the roundup, but they'll be just fine. We've told them it was a test run for a new attraction and gave them some free tickets for the trouble. Any idea what caused the malfunction? Marco? Come in, Marco. Over. <laughs> Marco here. Over. I'm getting some unusual readings from Mad Mulligan's minecart coaster. I'm on my way to check it out. May need backup. Over. Roger that, Emily. I'll meet you there. Over and out. Marco heads over to Mad Mulligan's minecart coaster, where Emily is already trying to fix the ride. Emily, what's going on? Someone's got the coaster running at full speed, and Charlie's trapped inside. Somebody stop this thing! How do we stop it? The emergency brake, but it's jammed and the controls are messed up. If I shut it off at this speed, it could seriously hurt Charlie. I need to slow it down, then hit the brake, but I can't reach the lever. I got the lever. You slow down the ride and tell me when to pull. Right, on my mark. Just have to adjust this, twiddle that. Now, now, go! <laughs> The ride slows down, coming to a stop in the station. A dizzy Charlie stumbles his way out of the ride. But before he could thank his friends, a voice is heard, echoing throughout the area. Damn you! No matter, you may have saved Dry Rock Gulch, but you won't stop me! I'll get you next time! Oh, get back here, Vim Vader! The group gives chase, led by Marco. But the slippery Vim Vader gets away. The Nuka safety team regroup to report their success in protecting the park. But the Vim Vader is still at large. Will our group catch this elusive outlaw? Where will they strike next? Until next time on Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. The shooters for adventure and news.
of the perfect day in Nuka Worlds. We join today's heroes, Charlie and park guest Brian, en route to the Safari Adventure Zone. But the smell of trouble hangs in the air. With the Vim Vader still on the loose, Vim shenanigans must be round the corner. Let's see what adventure awaits. Hey, thanks for all the help, Charlie. I've been waiting all day for this. Where to next? Safari adventures full of animals to see. That's my job, park guest Brian. Uh, you know you can just call me... I'm going to get all the information I can for you, especially on the reptile house. It's my personal favorite. Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, you know, snakes can be very dangerous. Then the bear cave. We have a big bear and a small bear. Now, the big bear is silly, but the small bear is grumpy, and sometimes they try and steal the guest's food. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how close do you get to the... Cappy's Treehouse! It has a maze! An elevator to the top with a view of the whole park! Hey, do treehouses have safety railings? I'm so excited to help and guide you today, park guest Brian. Come on down to Nuka World and see it for yourself! The crowd is in panic. What could it be? Just then... As Charlie and park guest Brian enter the Safari Adventure Zone, trouble strikes. A bird swoops down, just missing our hero's head. <laughs> the animals are loose and roaming free among the guests. This cannot be good for Nuka World. Security guard Marco approaches our heroes. Please, leave the area immediately. <laughs> yes, sir, it's true. The animals are loose. Over. Not sure at the moment, but I'm investigating, sir. Over. Yes, sir. We've located the lions and tigers, but not the bears. Over. Ah, oh, oh, there they are, Marco. Over there, by the Nuka Blasters. I don't think that's honey on their paws. It's probably barbecue sauce. Uh, bears love anything sweet and sticky. Little trivia for you. I've located the bears, sir. By the bottle blasters. They... they're drinking barbecue sauce. They seem very content. Over. <laughs> Good idea, sir. I'll get more barbecue sauce to keep them subdued. Over. Hey, Charlie. Nice spot with the bears. Uh, say, what's your friend's name? I'm Brian. I'm Marco, the security guard. Nice to meet you, park guest Brian. Uh, uh, you can call me... How'd you know that about bears, Charlie? Oh, oh, I love animals. I know all sorts of facts. Did you know frogs have 360-degree vision? I could use 360 vision right about now. You seem to know a lot about animals. Think you could help me out? Oh, boy. Yes! Nothing dangerous, I hope? Yeah, a few geckos are lost, some lizards. The crocs are safe and locked up. Oh, the anaconda is loose. Oh, snakes! <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> Sabotage, park guest Brian. Sabotage. The Vim Company is always trying to show Nuka up. They are jealous and hate that Nuka Cola is the best damn soda, period. It's sabotage, and I can't stand it. I just know Vim is behind it. That's awful. We need to stop it. I love Nuka Cola, so I'll help out. Fantastic. I'll order more barbecue sauce for the bears, and we'll head to the reptile house to see what we can find. Oh, this is so exciting. We get to help Nuka World see animals up close and save the day! Or be lunch. Wait, that's a great point. Marco, do you know when the anaconda was last fed? Oh, a week ago. Why? Oh, it's due to be fed. That means it's hungry and looking for food. We best move fast. I don't want any more incidents. Any more? Don't worry, park guest Brian. We are a park with every minimum acceptable safety standard met. Snakes love warmth and heat. Where is the hottest area of Safari Adventure Zone? The reptile House. I'll bet it never left. Let's go! I'll lead the way! Our heroes enter the Reptile House with nothing more than a torch and Charlie's knowledge of snakes to guide them. What awaits inside? 
Careful where you stand. It's hard to see. I think we need to lure the anaconda back into its exhibit with food. Hmm, good plan. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't eat fancy red snack cakes? <laughs> no, it eats rats. I need to sit down. I don't feel so good. Um, I, I, I need to sleep. Just then, park guest Brian accidentally sits on the snake's tail. You found him, Park Guest Brian! <laughs> Quick, work him! Get a rat and throw it into his cage! He got my leg! I don't think he likes you. Don't panic. Stay still and it will be fine. Yes, just like that. Park Guest Brian has passed out. The rat is in the cage. Look, it's going for the rat! Quick, shut the door! I don't think Park Guest Brian is awake. Park Guest Brian was not awake. I better report into security. Yes, sir. All secure here. It looks like another sabotage attempt by Vim. Over. <laughs> we have the Safari Adventure Zone on lockdown, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll congratulate Park Guest Brian and Charlie. Over and out. Charlie and Park Guest Brian saved the day by returning all the creatures to their cages. However, the saboteur from Vim is still on the loose. Will the Vim Vader be caught? Who is the Vim Vader? Will Park Guest Brian wake up? Until next time on Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. The Shooters for Adventure and New On this shining day at glorious Nuka World, a suspicious character seems to have made plans to steal a great treasure from the world of refreshment. What has the dastardly Vimvader set up this time? And how will our brave Nuka hero save the day? Phew, nothing is better than a slow day. One scraped knee and a small case of sugar rush. You know, I think today is going to be a good day. <sighs> Looks like I spoke too soon. Paula here. What's the emergency? Over. Doctor, this is Charlie. Looks like something's going on in the world of refreshment. Several deaths have fallen ill. Marco is already heading over to see what's happening. Understood, Charlie. I'm on my way. Tell Marco to wait there for me. Over and out. Approaching the world of refreshment, an unbearable odor fills the air. With Park Guest becoming ill, Paula powers through and arrives outside of the Nuka-Cola bottling plant, meeting Marco. Over here, Dr. Paula. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a doctor. I'm here to help. Just lie still, okay? Marco, what's happened? What's that oh, horrible smell? I'm not sure, Doc. Seems someone triggered an alarm in the employee area trying to access a security door. This isn't good. Judging by the symptoms the guests are experiencing, there's some dangerous bacteria being spread, which explains the smell. If we don't stop it soon, this could spread. There's no time to waste. Come with me, Doc. Let's go find what's causing this. Right behind you. Meanwhile, inside the world of refreshment is none other than our hero Slippery Foe, the low-down and nasty Vim Vader. <laughs> this security system won't keep me out for long. Once I'm through, I will steal that Nuka Power armor. Then nothing will be able to stop me getting the Nuka recipe! What's this? Some stuff are coming? No matter. I have all the time I need. The nasty surprise I left for them will slow them down. <laughs> oh, 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 that smell, it's so strong. Wait, Doctor, are you seeing this? The river, it's, it's been turned into vim. 
Oh, no. That would explain everyone getting ill. The bacteria in Vim is dangerous. Just one bottle could be fatal. What are we going to do? There's no way we could get rid of this quickly, and we can't get any further in without a gas mask. <coughs> Wait, I have an idea. It might just work. Emily, can you hear me? We need your help. Over. How can I help? You need me to come over? Uh, over. No need for that. Can you control the rivers in the world of refreshment? Over. I can't. What are you thinking, Doc? Over. No time to explain. Flood the input with Nuka Quantum. If you don't, more people will get ill. On it, Doc. I'm not even gonna ask. Over. Doc, how is this going to help? It's just going to mix Quantum with the BIM. On the contrary, Marco. The special isotope in Nuka Quantum is so high energy that it will kill all the nasty bacteria it comes into contact with. And since Vim is just that nasty... Doctor, you're right! The Vim, it's disappearing! And the smell is going too! <laughs> Wait here, I'm going to check the employee area and see who did this. Marco rushes to the top of the employee area, and on his way, sees the dastardly Vimvader desperately trying to open the secret door leading to the Nuka power armor. Vimvader, stop right there. Damn you! I was sure my Vim would stop you, and without a gas mask, you couldn't get here. You may have stopped me this time, but I will get the recipe next time! No! You won't escape this time! Smoke bomb! <laughs> Marco gives chase, but the slippery Vimvader gets away. Marco returns to Paula, and they report their success at saving the world of refreshment. But the Vimvader is still at large. Will our group ever catch this elusive outlaw? Where will they strike next? Until next time on Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. The shooters for adventure and Nuka World. What if there was a place with all the zip of Nuka Cola? Another beautiful morning in Nuka Town, USA. The sun is blazing in the sky and the park is bustling with activity. It appears some of the staff are gathered in the amphitheater. And as luck would have it, our heroes are headed there right now. Let's see what's occurring. Good morning, Mr. Branderton. Oh, hello there, Charlie. Only two. What brings you over here so early on this fine morning? We've got some deliveries for you. Sure is busy in here. What are you all doing inside this dusty old theater on such a beautiful day, anyway? Well, it is the grand opening day of my exciting new theater production, the likes of which will surpass even the most quintessential once-in-a-lifetime viewing experiences. I call it Nuka Ponzel. Well, that sounds kind of familiar. It tells the tragic tale of a beloved heroine trapped in the gripping clasp of Fistop Mountain. Will she ever escape? Will anyone help her? Oh, the drama. Oh, the tragedy. Ah, uh, sounds great. But uh, we better be off, Mr. Bradbutton. Good luck with the play. Oh, won't you both stay and help with the setup? We could really do with the pair of you. Well, as much as I would love to, I, I've got some other jobs to get. Excellent! That's the sort of can-do attitude we need at the park. Emily, would you mind helping out the tech team? They could do with your engineering knowledge. Uh, the painting team could do with your guidance, too, Charlie. There's lots of work to get done before the stage is set. Let's get to it! Chop, chop! The team worked tirelessly throughout the morning, past noon, and into the early evening hammering away at set pieces and constructing eccentric outfits. As the clock struck 6 p.m., the stage was set and the guests began to take their seats. But behind the curtain, Mr. Bradbutton was growing ever more anxious. Where on earth are my lead actors? I told them to arrive precisely at 5 p.m., but, well, they aren't here. Oh, whatever shall we do? Nuka Punzel, it's doomed! We can help out, Mr. Bradberton, sir. 
Oh, Charlie, I don't know about this. Oh, it will be all right, Emily. I promise. Okay, fine. But I'm playing the hero. Get in the dress, Charlie. The pair got into their outfits, Charlie rather unwillingly, and nervously made their way onto the stage. The start of the play went without a hitch. The pair gasped, laughed, and cried in all the right places, remembering all of the lines from Mr. Bradbutton's incessant bragging about how greatly written they were. But as the curtains opened on the final scene, suddenly the light snapped off, and dark, evil laughter was heard. <laughs> oh, geez, although this isn't meant to happen. Ooh, went the crowd. From the corner of his eye, Charlie spotted a shadowy figure crossing the stage. Stop right there, you brute! Get him, Charlie! I'll sort the lights! Charlie darted towards the figure as Emily dashed to the back of the stage, fiddling with the switches until the lights flashed back on, illuminating the villain who stood at the side of the stage. It was none other than the Vim Vader himself! Damn you losers, ruining all my fun! You may have saved the play, but I'll get you next time! Ah! And with that, the Vim Vader flew out of the emergency exit door, leaving Charlie and Emily alone on the stage. The room was silent for a few minutes, before the guests started slowly clapping. Louder and louder it became, until their cheers were bouncing off the theater walls and almost raising the roof! Our heroes quickly bowed and left the stage, hearts racing from the thrill of the performance. But as soon as they appeared backstage... Charlie! Emily! Thank goodness you're both all right. No surprise that that nasty Vim Vader was behind the power cut. Turns out that no-gooder gave the real actors the wrong directions to the amphitheater. Thank God you two were here. The park's reputation was almost ruined. Well, of course, that Vim Vader is no match for us. Happy to help. Another day easily saved from the evil clutches of the Vim Vader. Where will he strike next? And will his dastardly actions ever be brought to justice? Find out next time on Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. The Shooters for Adventure and Nuka.